So you might be compelled to think that I would start this video without showing my spectacular jump off of the Ghost River waterfall. And if you are thinking that, you are absolutely wrong because it was awesome. Here we see the actual jump now in forward motion, which was a personal high point on what turned out to be an absolutely spectacular weekend with the good people of the Philippines. As I sat on the high-speed rail, running at almost 200 miles per hour, I couldn't help but contemplate what kind of adventure laid ahead of me. And as per usual, all I knew was how much water to bring and whether or not it would be hot or cold, meaning in the mountains or near the beach. We first arrived at a place of incredible beauty with a couple of formations that were adorably called the ice cream cones. After a few photo opportunities, we started our hike up the mountain to what would be base camp number one. This is where it began to become quite interesting as it was evident that we were about to embark into a wondrous and unique world. More photos, videos, and selfies were abound as we were taking in the beautiful sunset from high above. The shrimping boats with their incredibly bright lights to attract the shrimp were a sight to be seen. The next day we stashed our bags, wandered through a dense forest down to the water level below. The scenery was spectacular as the area was formerly a mine of some sort. And Kylie is here. Maria is over here. Hi Maria. And Chris is over here. Yes, there he is. All right. <laughs> this next shot is particularly interesting because you are now looking at the waterfall that I jumped off from at the beginning of this video. If you can see them, there are tiny little people on that trail up there, heading up to Stegosaurus Ridge. We were not surprised to hear and see a helicopter doing an extraction the day of our hike, as it is strenuous and dangerous. We are now taking a much deserved cool break in the cave or mining tunnel that is about halfway up the mountain. As you can see, the view was absolutely spectacular, and the ocean is off in the distance. Climbing down from the cave was another feat to behold, as there were a variety of ropes running down a 70 to 80 degree climb to the water below. Climbing down was easier, but still daunting every step should be well thought out. Here comes the helicopter to the rescue. Interestingly, they charge 20,000 NT for extraction. It used to be zero. 20,000 NT is equal to about 700 US dollars to be extracted from a mountain accident. Okay, so a Taiwanese gentleman with amazing English is about to uh, jump off the falls. His mother is arriving now. He wanted her to see it. Chris is ready for the perfect shot, uh -huh. and we are enjoying some guava and bread. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get, I'll die or something. <laughs> oh. okay, My mom would say the same thing. This was pretty cool because Remus convinced his mom to jump as well. I don't know what's going on down there, but they are in river tracing gear. Are. 
Well, it turns out we were not alone at the falls this day. A uh, river tracing outfitters arrived to rig the climb up to the waterfall. While the outfitters were a lot of fun to watch, it quickly became busy. But you can see Remus up here on the rock, clearly chilling like a villain. Here the rigging of the route begins. This guy is free climbing his way up the side of this rock face, which is what I ended up doing before the rope was placed. It was uh, much more dangerous than it looks, but I survived it once and that was good enough. And the first jump. <laughs> We finished our day not here, but at a large waterfall where we had a spectacular barbecue and many more of the PH rock climbers came to attend. I look forward to many more exciting trips with the PH rock hikers and special thanks to Kylie and Jen for welcoming myself and my brother when he visited to attend what is weekly adventures for this group. Long live the PH Rock Hikers, and I think their new slogan should be, We Just Don't Quit.